Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So on this channel, we are trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the SQL 50 crack SQL interview in 50 question series where we are trying to learn hands-on SQL using 50 carefully curated questions covering diverse aspects of SQL. So basically, we are going to do questions on select, basic joins, aggregate functions, right? Then sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries, advanced string functions, regex, clauses, etc. Right? In our previous video, we solved this question on big countries where we learned about how to perform union, how to perform filtering using where clauses, or clause, and clause, etc. In this video, we are going to solve this question, the fourth question of the series, Article Views Part 1, and learn from this. So yeah, let's dive in. Okay, so this is the fourth question, Article Views 1, and let's look at the companies this question has been asked in. So Amazon, Yahoo, Bloomberg, Google interviews in the past six months, right? So highly important question. Let's look at what the question is saying. So we are given a table called Views with four different columns article id author id viewer id and view date there is no primary key column with unique values for this table so it can have duplicate rows each row of this table indicates that some viewer viewed an article written by some author on some date okay so basically this table has information about a article who wrote it who viewed it and on what date the person viewed it note that equal author id and viewer id indicate the same person okay we are asked to write a solution to find all the authors that viewed at least one of their own articles. Okay, at least one of their own articles. Return the result table sorted by ID in ascending order. Okay, let's go through this example, right? So here, we need to find out all the authors who viewed at least one of their articles. So what does that mean? mathematically in this case so basically your author id should be equal to your viewer id right at least in one of the rows so for example this article number one was written by a person with id three right so if in this table there is a row where this same person would have viewed this article then it would have viewer id as three as well but for article id one there is no such row right so this article was not viewed by its author then article id 2 written by 7 and yes on 1st of august 2019 it was viewed by the author itself so author id 7 is a person who has it viewed his or her article at least once right and then similarly for uh, article id 4 there's only one row for uh article id 3 okay so written by author id 4 and then viewed or viewed by the same person as well okay so basically there are two people that we found out author id 4 and 7 who viewed at least one of their articles and since we need to sort them by id in ascending order so it should be 4 and 7 and that is what we have in the output and also make sure that the name of the column is id and not author id right Okay, so to do this, we can use the previous knowledge that we gained from the first three videos where we learned about the where clause to filter, right? So basically, we are only interested in those rows where author ID is equal to viewer ID because that is going to satisfy the need of the question, right? So authors that viewed at least one of their articles. Okay, so let me go ahead. So from this table called views, we are only interested in those rows where author id is equal to viewer id okay so this is going to keep all such rows let me go ahead and do select star select star is basically keep all the columns satisfying all these conditions right okay let me run this this is not yet complete so it is going to return a wrong answer but we are interested in learning more right okay so if I scroll down, so this is our output. So where our author ID is equal to viewer ID. Okay. Now this question also said just by looking at it, right? So there is no primary queue. So this row can have duplicates. So obviously we do not need duplicates in the output. Okay. This, this is one thing to consider in mind. So now we got the author IDs that were that we have in the output, right? Four and seven. But this should be ordered by id in ascending order right so ordered by id id is basically an alias for author id in this case right so 
once you have this so this select star from views where author id is equal to viewer id this is the output of them then we also need to sort this how can we sort in sql there is a clause called order by right so after you know getting this output let's order by right so order by the author id in ascending order it says ascending order so by default when you write the name of a column after order by it is going to sort in ascending order so you do not need to write it explicitly but i am writing it here just for learning purposes if you want to do this decreasing you need to write desc okay so author id and then let me go ahead and run this now let's see what do we have here okay so our output so this is now sorted by author id in ascending order but again there is one thing that is missing that we need to drop duplicates or we do not need to have duplicates so how can we not have duplicates we need to write distinct right so if i write distinct star right distinct star and then let me go ahead and run this okay so now if you look at it so now we drop the duplicate part now there is one learning here when i write distinct star right so this means that all the columns right so combination of all the columns that should be different right that should be different it is not trying to keep distinct author id so do not think that this drop was only because there was four and four in the author ids in two rows so one of them was dropped no let me go ahead and you know uh revisit this so let me remove this distinct part let me run this again right it will make it very clear uh let me go ahead and run this okay so here when i write right when i write distinct star so basically it is going to take all the columns combine them and then try to find out whether you know there was a distinct part so remember here we have two rows right here we have two rows however if instead of 21st of july 2019 this would have been 22nd of july 2019 even if these three columns have same values for these two rows if this is different so it is going to keep these both of these rows right so when you do that so remember that so that is what we need to avoid right that is what we need to avoid because there could be so in this particular test case that is not a case but in other test cases that could be the case right and there your solution will fail so we need to make sure that we are only keeping distinct authors right so now if i write distinct author id right distinct author id then this problem is solved for us right why because now it is saying that you take the author id column and then you only keep the distinct ones right so let me go ahead and run this now still says wrong answer why because even though our output is same as expected output the name of the column is not how can you change the name of a column in sql you can simply use alias right so you can simply write as whatever is required in your output let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have here okay so our output is same as expected output uh, let me drag it below yeah so this is the entire solution let me go ahead and submit it so if it passes all the test cases or not so this is accepted and this is how we do it so remember whenever we need to have an output from a table which can have duplicates remember we can do distincts or there is another way is when you can perform groups right so after you know let's say from views where author id is equal to viewer id you can also do group by which are which we are going to learn subsequently but there is another way just remember that this that there is another way where you can remove the distinct part right the way to sort in sql is using order by clause and you can change the name of the columns using as as alias okay so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video